Hello, and you're watching Mad Lad of Culture. Hello, gentlemen, man, reaction time to R9 Prelude to Dawn. Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first impression to this brand new anime for the season. And I know, I know a lot of you guys will be asking this, Mad Lad, why did you react to episode one last week? Well, yes, guys, I missed out on episode one last week. Well, to be honest, though, I did, kind of did it on purpose because I wasn't really in the mood to any reaction after like the Goto Mahane movie. So, you know, I might as well just save it for two, well, today, basically, for episode one and two so um, you know might as well just check out these two episodes and see whether or not you know it's something that i want to continue reacting to or maybe basically in another way of saying it whether you guys want me to continue reacting to it or not because how do i put this though from what i can see from the reception from other reactors well arc night seems like it turns out really well in terms of the reception wise in terms of the views and stuff like that so yeah might as well you know join the family for it and of course you can say the fact that arc night i've been told lately that it's been one of the better game adaptation well question mark question mark to that well you know uh, to be honest i never really heard of this game before and well, i saw arts of this anime game before but you know i never really played the game before so well you can say i'm looking forward to see what's all this hype around arc knight because i know gacha gamers out there are really dying to see how they adapt the story for the eight episode long season yes it was only gonna be eight episodes so i'm just hoping that you know episode two really how to say spice up the story because you know episode, you know, episode one episode i'm pretty sure in any game so like adaptation well you can say they start slow and then episode two and three onwards is where the fun part begins so with that said though let's get started with the first two episode reaction and see whether or not you guys enjoy my reaction or not so with that said let's get cracking shall we okay what a very warlike start to the episode holy shit i gotta say man the asmr effect in this voice acting man and there we go our main girl I gotta say, the animation for these characters are really digging it right now, man. She's cute. Well, seems like the doctor apparently is gonna be the main focus. Or so I said, the MC could be like one of the supporting characters for this series then. Oh, damn. Look at the quality in the eyes, man. Like, seriously, this character design looking really good so far. So I presume these are like the enemies that they're fighting and trying to like stay away from. Man, I gotta say, this is looking really good so far, especially with the whole military aspect of the series where they, you know, using guns and do the military tactics to defend a person. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It seems that the doctor is now looking really good right now. Well, let's just see how they able to get out of the situation. Like seriously, what happened to the doctor? Did she, was he or she to undergo some sort of experiment and they somehow match a rescue he or she? Oh my god, they're in a very dire situation, and they're surrounded. Oh! Oh shit. Oh! Ho ho! Whoa, the doctor? I- Oh! Hey. Oh no, never mind reinforcements. Wow, it seems like this is more of so an escape mission for them now. Well, I was hoping for a bit of a battle, but it seems like they're trying to avoid big conflicts. Oh, so he has some good, like, leadership skills. No wonder they need the doctor. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure the doctor has some involvement with them too. That's why they care for him so much. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. That's not a good sign. Oh, my God. Lost the memories? Wow, that's definitely a huge blow for them. Oh, so there's a bit of an amnesia going on here then. Oh, my God. So the doctor was in a cold sleep, huh? Rhode Island? Wait, so they're in America? Okay. Oh my god. So this takes place in America. So it seems like they just have to find a way to escape now and the doctor is no help to them. Okay. Very interesting way to kickstart the episode indeed. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Ho ho. Oh. Oh my god, they walk right into a trap, man. Now, this is now really escalated. Couple of years. Okay, flash grenade. Oh my god, yes. Reinforcements. Good timing. So far, so good, I gotta say. I just kickstart the episode with a rescue mission and managed to get out with some reinforcements. And it seems like they are fighting against this group called. Well, 
well reunion what interesting name but yeah i mean i'm a bit confused what the hell is going on because you just kick start with a rescue mission don't really explain much about the, each individual characters but all i can tell is that they are into they are really want to rescue the doctor for maybe you know they care for him maybe he was the reason to the creation so well we just had to see more from the second half of the episode so i presume he's like the captain for the time being in terms of you know leading them and helping them out i mean he looks like one of those people that are like kick ass and stuff like that reunion movement wow oh, terrorist organization you always have to throw in some terrorism into a war stories in it my god i gotta say they kickstart the episode with a very dark theme already fighting against terrorism and trying to get to this place and stuff like that oh the doctor is standing okay well hopefully this isn't dragged him down but okay sure oh my god there's civilians no time man dude exactly at least she speaks some sense man so you cannot save everyone especially with the situation they're in i just i just i didn't catch this when i was commentating but she's the leader of rose island okay now things just got a bit interesting now oh ho, ho. well she's the leader so no wonder they take her seriously oh seems that the doctor is finally regaining the memories or something okay are we gonna see some action time oh ho 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 yo let's go tactician in action baby you love to see it okay that's our creed so we saved others so basically they're the rebel group <laughs> oh ho 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 wow well, so it begins everyone let's go let's go oh whoa okay okay she can do something like that oh no okay okay you got you got my attention now hey hey, hey. wow it seems that the doctor's plan going into good fruition oh from above okay cool hey, hey nice okay seems like they're she's not conf confident with them <laughs> infected wait what now wait infected so so did they have some disease in them oh so someone's dressed differently than uh, than you know the white kids oh my god wow this has gone really interesting now oh wait what okay so they're infected from a disease now this is interesting so they this allows them to have powers then so i also presume the infection also gave them ears and turned into like about demi humans so basically the terrorists are basically those who've been infected and they're trying to retaliate for harming them and while some people just want to like protect others and find cure wow i can see this whole big war going on now I mean, he's got a doctor for a reason. So, I mean, like I said, I knew he was like onto some sort of like research that involved them. So, yep, now things make a bit more sense now. You're very what? Nakama, this, huh? I mean, I'm pretty sure she's hiding something more than just a Nakama. So, we will find out eventually more. There's only eight, there's like seven more episodes to go. Well, I gotta say, first impression wise for the first episode, which episode two is coming out like literally after this, um, I was a bit confusing at the start. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, huh, rescue mission, and then we have this group of people coming after them. Wow, wow, what best way to kickstart the episode? And then the second half of the episode where we get to see a bit more wider picture to the world they're in. So infection, terrorism, but you know maybe they're doing something. To defend themselves and well just find the cure for their situation apparently they have this disease that can well give them what it turn them what they are like that and now they've been targeted so well we'll find out more how they're gonna get to that spot where they're going to in the second episode which is coming out right now
Oh, ho, 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 whoa. Episode 2 of Once Again kicks off to a very interesting start. Oi, wow. Damn, they're overrunning the security. Oh, ho, ho. Lamau, <laughs> you're retreating and you're alone. Hey, ay, ay, these, wow, terrorists, apparently, and overpowered the police. Oi, oh. Woohoo! Oh, damn, no mercy, man. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, if you guys are wondering if I'm going to do the opening reaction or not, yes, I will, everyone. I'll be doing that as, as a separate video, so make sure you guys wait after this episode 1 to reaction and you know, check it out. So, you know, I'm just going to let you guys know anyways. So the Urus' guards are being, how to say, weakened to those terrorists. <laughs> well, I mean, it makes sense, though. They can't have a good leader in them to navigate around the city. Yeah, Amma Mia, stop playing the goody chew shoes and bring the doctor back because last episode almost cost them. Oh, shit, they're walking into a trap. Oh, shit, they're walking into a trap. Enemy drones in sight. Okay, so they're using drones to, like, attack them first. Yeah, I guess that's what they're intending to do. And everyone separated. This is not looking good now. Oh, wait, what? The doctor oh shit. Oh my, what the hell happened? Hi oh shit. Um, who is this asshole kid? Like literally the face is an asshole, man. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure he, you know, he has some interesting skill in mind. That's why he's confident in not attacking them. Oh, told you. Told you. Seems like he has something in mind, man. Mephisto, too. That's an interesting name. Uh, yeah, they're surrounded. Wow. Why am I not surprised? This, this is not going to end nicely for them anyways. I mean, I gotta say, the voice actor really know how to make him a very annoying character already. But, you know, he did a good job anyways. Oh my god. This is a... He may just make them do a survival game. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, what? My god, this guy is fucked up, man. Like, seriously. Oh! Okay, smoke grenade. Okay, let's see how this goes, man. Oh, ho ho. Seems like he's quite a good strategic person indeed, man. Yeah, this guy is a total asshole, man. Fucking hell. Oh! Okay, who's firing those shots, man? Holy cow. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, reinforcements! Wow, too fucking bad, you dickhead. Oh, oh, okay. Who's doing the shooting? Seriously. <laughs> well, your plan is messed up, man. Well, at least the, the injury, like, escaped. Hey, nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, nice escape. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Like, I'm pretty sure these men are like mind control or something. So that's why they cannot say much to it. Uh, yeah, the world they're in right now is hard to trust because anyone can backstab in a world war. Well, I gotta say, man, you can't go maybe depression this season too, but, well, Arc Knight is just pure war and depression, man. And I love it. So the Rose Island is their sanctuary or something, or they have something there that can help save everyone from this infection. So that's her outfit underneath that gigantic jacket. Mm, fair enough, I guess. So basically healing with light or something. Well, fair enough, I guess. So the infection called Originium. <laughs> Well, I guess you can say they need that sort of source to heal it up and well, power up, basically. 
Oh my god, so death, you know, is coming their way if they overuse their powers. Well, I mean, stuff like this happens, I guess. Hmm, I don't know, man. This seems like another trap or something. Maybe the scouts got taken out already. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, hurry up to it. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh my god, this flamethrower. Oh my god, just in, luckily enough the doctor read the situation really nicely. Haluha. Well, seems like we got ourselves a big boss to fight now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh my god, this whole place is going to be burned down, man. Like, who the fuck is the enemy they're fighting? Oh my god, yo. Holy shit. This is not looking good. Jesus Christ, this girl is like intimidating already, man. Annihilation. Oh my god. Well, guys, I can safely tell you this. I am really hooked up with this show already, man. Like, holy shit. Like, this episode 2 just got better in terms of, like, the drama, the war. And we get to see the big villain coming their way, too. And, of course, we also learn about the limitations of using the infection power or whatever you call it again. So, oh, my God. Now, I am fucking so now for this series. I just can't wait for more because you can just tell that there is some really good writing going on here for this game, too. It's only eight episodes long, too. So, I'm pretty sure this episode is, quanti is quality over quantity, man. Oh, dude, I just can't wait for next week already. So, with us, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Smash the like button, guys. And I can somehow guarantee you I'll be doing this for the rest of the Friday, depending on how Kanko do next week, of course. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Smash the button, and I'll see you guys 